As the city focuses on the future of a massive transit plan, many hope pedestrian safety will also be a priority. It was a deadly year on the streets in 2017, and News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains how recent changes to one dangerous intersection can be the right push for officials. Matthew. Rory, with two bus stops on both sides of the road, this part of Nolensville Pike, not far from Harding Place, is busy, but it's also been deadly for pedestrians. Well, now they can safely cross the street by pressing this button, which turns on the lights and alert drivers that they are crossing. To think all of this did not exist more than a month ago. And tonight, uh, riders tell us it's already making a difference. This is what Nolensville Pike near Wellswood Drive looked like in the summer. Plenty of traffic as people cross the street to catch the bus, even if there's no safe place to do so. Months later, it's still busy, but there's been a change you cannot miss. It's a special edition. It's been a month since TDOT added a crosswalk, pedestrian signs and medians and flashing lights. There's also separate lanes for buses to pick up passengers. Now all they gotta do is push a button and it's a state law that they must yield to pedestrians. To many, it's been a long time coming. Ooh, people are getting hit. It's, it's kind of hectic. The group Walk Bike Nashville says seven people have died near the intersection since 2010. Last year, 300 pedestrians were hit and injured in Nashville. More than 20 of them died. I still have to. We'll look both ways because even though the light be on, you know, sometimes people, you know, just be in their zones. Bus riders like Ethel Valentine says driving habits need to change. Meanwhile, we still see pedestrians not using the crosswalk, even if it's nearby. Their life could be saved by taking walking a few more yards. There haven't been any serious incidents since the changes took place. Officials say it's still too early to know what, if any, difference it'll make. But people who have to cross this busy street every day say they feel more at ease. I feel safer. I can push a button and cross the road. Now we have seen the flashing lights and we've been here for quite some time now, but even then we still see some of the cars driving through, leaving pedestrians to wait right in the middle of the crosswalk. Right now, TDOT is looking at several other dangerous intersections to determine whether or not similar changes should be made. Reporting live in South Nashville tonight, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.